Hey guys, Rob Money here. Today I'm fishing the San Antonio River. I'm just gonna go spot to spot. There's so much water out here, so many spots I've never explored. So I'm just gonna kind of do places I've never fished before. Um, walk through some stuff, cross over some stuff, go through the woods, maybe slip and fall, who knows. But let's see if we can find some fish. What is that? Dipping dots? That's weird. Oh, I slipped. Oh, yep, that, yep. That's cool. I like how every time I fish, I roll my ankle. That's always nice. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. I'm gonna start a second channel on how to heal rolled ankles. All right, so I probably wanna go this way. I just already know this is gonna hurt, so might as well just go for it. Oh, oh I've, I've never, I've never got more water on my car keys in my life. It's cool, I'll just buy another key fob. They're only like $500, right? It probably pays to invest in a uh, waterproof backpack, waterproof bag, something. Or you could be like me and just risk it all. If I fall in, I'm losing a lot more than just my car keys, so. But I do use a GoPro to film, and GoPros are waterproof, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Every step I take, every move I make, it hurts. I feel like Lewis and Clark. I feel like Dora the Explorer. Oh man, it's getting hot out. It's been like 104 every single day down here in San Antonio. Right, made it onto dry land. This is what the top of this mountain looks like. So as you can see, plenty of water. You need a shade tree to sit under and fish. Oh, I know, it's so hot. I thought she was trying to sell me insurance. I got scared. All right, so this spot took a while to get to. Had to trek through the water, slipped and fell, jumped over rocks. But let's see if it's worth it. Since this is downtown San Antonio, most of this river is heavily fished. So I was just trying to find something a little bit off the beaten path. Something new, something I haven't fished before. So, took a bit, but looks pretty juicy out here. Juicy couture, you know what they say. I'm sorry, actually, I don't, I don't know what they say. Got a fish, that's a bass. Good sized bass. Come on, brother. Stay on, stay on. Good sized fish. All right, check me out. Yeah, he kind of hit it out of nowhere. Right on the lip, okay. Right through the lip. Cool, I hadn't gotten a bite all day. I didn't think there was anything out here. And then this little chunky boy came out.
one pound three ounces little one pounder let's get you back in the water buddy all right so first bite all day took me a long time to get here to this spot but it was worth it see you later buddy get even bigger All right, when it comes to hooks, size four offset hooks. That's what I use. Um, I use this H2O brand. I'm pretty sure it's Academy's brand, but they are sturdy, they're cheap. It's like $3 for this pack of 25. So can't go wrong with these. Um, never had an issue with these. Next thing I'm using, four inch crawfish. This is still my go-to. They call me the Cajun Persuasion because all I'm doing is crawfishing it up. Should have been born in Louisiana. No, but this thing works great out here. I love the pumpkin green color. Um, again, I go weightless on my Texas rig because this is there's a decent amount of weight on the four inch. I can cast it far, and I just like how it slowly floats to the bottom instead of sinks and you know gets hung up on rocks and stuff. So, still using this. See what it can do today. Have a good feeling. For all my friends that don't feel comfortable hooking a Texas rig, it's super easy. Start at the back of the bait, away from whatever action there is. Go down about half an inch, hook comes out. Bait goes up the hook. Once you get to the top, turn the hook. Now the hook is facing back towards your bait. And then you just kind of see where the hook would line up naturally if it were, to, if it were laying flat like that. Poke it through the hole. And that's it. And then you can tuck the tip into the bait a little bit if you want it to be weedless. If there's not a lot of structure around, I like it just poking out just a bit. For me, it's easier to set the hook. Or I feel like I miss less hook sets, but could be all in my head. Hey, so if you're enjoying the content so far, why don't you subscribe? We just hit over 500 subscribers, so thank you everyone who subscribed. But if you watch a couple of my videos, if you like me, if you don't like me, maybe just throw a subscribe my way. It'll pay off. Trust me. Okay, let me move down a little bit. Oh, I fell. Yeah, so I've just never been bitten by this many mosquitoes in my entire life. In like a three week period, I've just, I've never. Good news is they can study malaria with my blood because there's no way I don't have it. There's been lots of mosquitoes this summer, man. And like, yeah, I could, I could get like bug spray or off, but My subscribers make fun of me, call me weak. You know, you know how it is. Well, really prefer if I didn't park under the most spider webs I've ever seen in my life. Cool, can't wait till they're, they're all over me when I'm driving home. Not gonna lie, after a hot day, this hits the spot. Gotta love San Antonio. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, again, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Uh, we just hit over 500 subscribers. Thanks for everybody who did that. Ah, I'm gonna start over. Huh? I'm my 507, boy. Oh, you're 507? Check again, boy. 507 on the tube. All right. That's gonna do it today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, got plenty more videos coming out. Shorts, long videos, short videos, medium-sized videos. Any kind of video you want, you're gonna find it here. See you next time.